Dana, remember the long lines during Superstorm Sandy at gas stations? Well, now the state of New Jersey giving money to some stations to keep the power on during storms. Just one plan in place as residents brace for a lot of rain. Trains, Newark Liberty International Airport, and drivers preparing ahead of the storm. This couple gassing up. Never know what can happen. Gas stations, including this one, recently flooded after a rain cell that lingered over the town of Scotch Plains for three hours, concerned too. But it's not just the water. During Sandy, long lines at gas stations. The state pumping out a program to help them buy backup generators. 140 gas stations apply nearly half getting help, but a gasoline organization says that wasn't the issue during Sandy. The reason for the gas lines was because gasoline could not be delivered to the gas stations. Governor Chris Christie canceling his campaign, putting hundreds of emergency workers on standby. Now is the time for you to begin to prepare uh, for hunkering down and dealing with the storm. NJ Transit, which saw some trains underwater during Sandy, keeping a close eye to minimize service disruptions. Most airlines not saying if they're relaxing flight change fees. You know, we are a little bit scared about that hurricane because we're going home on Monday. So probably we're going to stay here some more days. Now, the Port Authority announcing a drainage project at the airport to help alleviate flooding on taxiways and runways. Everyone here just preparing again for a lot of rain. We're live in Union, New Jersey. Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News. Thank you.